If you know where to find this, stand by. You may be called in the next half hour to try for a fabulous jackpot worth $3,000. The Coca-Cola Bottling Company of New York presents the hilarious hunt for prizes. Finders, keepers, and now here's the fun-making keeper of finders, keepers, Fred Robbins. How are you? Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody, and welcome again to Finders, Keepers. This is the game designed for you, right at home, sitting in your living room, in your easy chair, on the telephone. I hope you've sent us a Finders Keepers entry blank, because if you have, you are eligible. And so for the next half hour, don't let anybody get near that telephone. Keep your eye glued on the television screen and your ear glued to that telephone, because we may be calling you. And if we do, you will have a chance to win our $3,000 Finders Keepers jackpot. It's tremendous, and here's Bill O'Toole to tell you what's in it. First, to make life at home a bit more musical, the Canavi Piano, the official piano of the Metropolitan Opera, which can be seen at the Canavi Piano Company at 536 Fifth Avenue. Second, to make life easier, every woman's dream, a Westinghouse kitchen with the wonderful Westinghouse twins, the washer and the dryer, and including a dishwasher and a Westinghouse refrigerator. And remember, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. Third, to make life more romantic, we will fly you to the city of romance, Paris. Via KLM, Royal Dutch Airlines aboard their luxurious Royal Super Constellation, where every wish is a command, and no king could ask for more. <laughs> Topping it all off, you'll be our guests for a week at the world-famous George Saint Hotel in the heart of gay Paris. The most fabulous jackpot in television today. Hey, and it is, too. And that is not Frederick Phillips. That's the Arctic Triumph, and it adds up to $3,000 worth of prizes, and all of it is yours if you know where to find what we showed as our jackpot picture. Now, at this moment, our girl Friday on Thursday night, Peggy O'Hara, is selecting, I hope it's your, Finder's Keeper's entry card from our colossal bottle. How you doing, Peg? Ready, Fred. And now our operators are going to place the first call. Okay, and while we make that first call, let me tell you how you can play Finder's Keepers without even moving from your living room. Right here are the familiar cartons of Coca-Cola that you find at your neighborhood store. Just look for one of these Finder's Keepers entry blanks in every carton or ask your dealer for one. This is the only way, this is your chance to play Finder's Keepers. Now fill in the bottom half of the card, include your phone number, put it in an envelope, and mail it to the address on the blank. Don't forget to put your dealer's name and address on the card because he is also eligible for prizes. Don't forget that. Now if we select your entry card from our colossal bottle, we will hide it somewhere in our living room behind any object of furniture we choose or inside or perhaps in the luggage or the barometer or the moose head or the books or perhaps in the Westinghouse kitchen here, any nook or corner, any one of the appliances, in the washer or the dryer or the refrigerator. It can be hidden anywhere. Now, if we call you at home, we will ask you to find your entry card within one minute using a studio hunting partner right from the studio audience. He'll do all the running for you or she. If you find it, you will keep one of our fabulous Finders Keepers prizes, and they're just wonderful. And the door will open to you, and you'll have a chance at our $3,000 Finders Keepers jackpot. And remember, Finders Keepers. And that's our first call tonight, and let's see who the operator has, and I hope it's you. Hello, operator, whom do we have here? Mrs. Fitzsimmons of Baldwin, Long Island. Hiya, Mrs. Fitzsimmons, how are you? Nice to see you and talk to you, too. And this is your entry card. This is what you sent in to us, and thank you very much. And we're gonna hide it right now. I'm gonna see if you can find it in a minute. Peggy, go ahead. Mrs. Fitzsimmons, tell me about yourself a little bit. You're a housewife with how many children? How many children? One son in college. That's wonderful. And Mr. Fitzsimmons, what does he do? I see. Now, you've been watching Finders Keepers. You think you can find an entry card in one minute? Gonna have a hunting partner to help you now. How'd you like to win that trip to Paris? Well, if you can find your entry card in a minute, we got a great prize for you, Mrs. Fitzsimmons in Baldwin, New York. I want you to talk very loud because the audience, by their applause, will tell you whether you're hot or cold. But will you holler real loud and tell me where to tell the entry, the, finding, uh, par the hunting partner to look, will you please? Real loud so I can hear you. And I believe your hunting partner is ready now, so let's meet her, Mrs. Fitzsimmons. Peggy? Here she is, Mrs. Peggy Potee. Hi, Mrs. Potee. How are you? Come right over here and say hello to Mrs. Fitzsimmons of Baldwin, Long Island. Say hello. Hello. There you are. You talking to her? Yeah. Well, this is Peggy Putty. Where are you from, Peg? Alton, Texas. Alton, Texas? Yes. Well, look at those boots she's got on. Would you come down and take a look at these Texas boots? Aren't they the cutest things you ever did see? Do you wear those in Texas all the time? No, not all the time. When do you wear them? When it's cold. When it's cold. Game. Our football game. Oh, I love that Texas accent. Say a few words about Texas. 
Well, I think it's the most wonderful place in the world. There you go on and on. We can take the whole program. Now, Mrs. Fitzsimmons, let's pick a prize for you. Come over here, Peggy Poteet. All of these represent fabulous prizes, Mrs. Fitzsimmons. Which one do you want to pick? Which one? Tell me where to start. Right there. Now, this is number five. Number five. Bill O'Toole, what is Finders Keepers prize number five? For you, Mrs. Fitzsimmons, a weekend of skiing for two. First, to get you in shape, you and one guest will receive ten ski lessons from experts on the automatic indoor machines at the Parallel Ski School on East 86th Street in New York. And then, the Ranch Information Bureau of New York sends you on this wonderful weekend of skiing and skating on the Timberline Ski Slopes. And you'll get excellent equipment and accommodations at the Hideaway Ranch in East Jewett, New York. Okay, Fred. Okay, now, Mrs. Fitzsimmons, you are ready. In one minute, let's win that great prize and be eligible for the jackpot. I will give you a musical clue, and then your hunting partner from Alton, Texas, is going to run like crazy. You ready? Listen to your musical clue. Listen. <laughs> that song. That's a wonderful hit. Where should your hunting partner look? Quickly, Mrs. Fitzsimmons, where? Where? In the kitchen. From Alton, Texas. Texas girl, in the kitchen. Where in the kitchen now, Mrs. Fitzsimmons? Where? In the frying pan. She wants to look in the frying pan. Any frying pan? Well, there's eggs in the frying pan. Well, under the eggs she wants to look. And there it is. Right under the eggs. Yeah. Hey, Mrs. Fitzsimmons, you did it. You won yourself that ski course. How about that? You were very quick there. How did you get it so fastly? Did you hear my English? You got me excited. How did you get it so fastly? <laughs> I mean, how did you guess it so quickly? Put your si keep your sunny side up. That is right. And sunny side up. And right underneath with all the albumin on it is the entry card. Now, you've won your first prize. And your dealer, your dealer, which is the grocery store at uh, 257 South Melbourne Avenue in Baldwin gets a beautiful four-piece serving set from the Michael C. Fina Company on West 49th Street. Distributors of fine silverware and hollowware. And you, Alton, Texas, for being such a wonderful hunting part. Look what we have for you. This is from Hollywood, a train case packed with Studio Girl Cosmetics to help you look your prettiest always, and with it, a matching apparel case. Now, I want to thank you. I want to thank Alton, you very Texas, much. but you can't shake hands. I've got to load you up a little more here. Wait a minute, I've got a carton of Coke for you to take back to Alton with you. Thank you very much here, for playing uh -huh. finders keepers. And you wear those stadium boots all the time now. Yeah. Bye, Texas. Bye. 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 Okay, now, Mrs. Fitzsimmons, here we are, you and me and $3,000 in finders keepers jackpot prizes waiting for your identification of the jackpot picture. You have 15 seconds to identify it. I can accept only one answer. Are you ready? Now look at it carefully and then tell me. $3,000 is yours in Finders Keepers Prizes if you can tell me where you can find this. Where, Mrs. Fitzsimmons? Where can you find it? A few more seconds. Take a guess. No, nothing at all, huh? No guess? I'm sorry, it's not correct. Not correct, but you won yourself that wonderful skiing course, and I hope you have lots of fun with it. Anybody can learn to ski. And thank you very much for your participation in Finders Keepers. Good night, Mr. Simmons. <laughs> Got me all excited then. Well, that's how we play Finders Keepers. Simple and easy and lots of fun. Now, you know, more people every single day are serving Coke with meals. It adds a little zest. It's a little something different to an ordinary meal. It helps the lady of the house come up with a different menu. And that's mighty important these days when everybody is looking for a little variety, a little change of pace from ordinary day-to-day -day living. The appeal of bottled Coca-Cola at mealtime is obvious. Its goodness appeals to everyone. Now, you have only to taste its delicious flavor, comprised of pure, wholesome ingredients, to know why Coca-Cola in bottles has become the household favorite for over four generations of Americans. Now, we've often told you about the friendly, familiar bottle for Coke how it's been filled with taste-tingling Coke, and how before it comes into your home, each and every bottle has been washed and rinsed and sterilized for over 30 minutes until it's sparkling clean, until it sparkles like an emerald. Yes, we who are concerned with the preparing of bottled Coca-Cola for you guard its appeal and its quality diligently, for Coke in the bottle is exactly what it's intended to be, true refreshment, the quality of which no man has ever, ever duplicated. So tomorrow, when you're shopping for groceries, look for the display of Coca-Cola in bottles at your favorite store. Pick up several cartons or even a case. Keep plenty of it on hand, for there is nothing like the quality of bottled Coca-Cola. And there's our second phone call on Finders Keepers this evening. And hello, operator, whom do we have this time? 
Mrs. Wiedemann of the Bronx, how are you, Mrs. Wiedemann? We got your entry card right here. Tell me about yourself. Huh? You what? You're what? You're shaky. Oh, well, we're shaky here, too. Did you hear my grammar before? Here's your entry card, and this is the girl who's going to hide it. Peggy O'Hara, now, you tell me about yourself. How many children? Just a housewife, the American institution. How many in the family? Huh? Three children, two boys and a girl, and Mr. Wiedemann, what does he do? A superintendent. Have you played Finders Keepers? Well, you've watched the show. You know how we play. How'd you like to win that trip to Paris, that knobby piano, huh? How'd you like to win that Westinghouse kitchen? Well, you've got a hunting partner to help you out, Mrs. Wiedemann. You're going to meet her or him right now. Don't know who it is. Got to find that entry card in a minute. Where's your phone? Right next to the television set? Well, here it is. Here's your entry partner, your hunting partner here. Oh, it's a little one, a young one. It is Mary Ellen Wilson. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi, Mary Ellen. Would you say hello to Mrs. Wiedemann? Yeah. What's she saying? <laughs> Nothing. Can't you speak there, Mrs. Wiedemann? Mary Ellen, what do you do? Where are you from? New York. New York, what school, honey? St. Catharines. You gonna hunt real good, St. Catharines, St. Catharines, and for Mrs. Wiedemann? You ready, Mrs. Wiedemann? Let's find a prize for you. Now, every one of these entry cards represents a fabulous prize. Let's pick one. This one here. And that is number eight, Mrs. Wiedemann. And here's Bill O'Toole to tell you what is Finders Keepers Prize number eight. Number eight brings you the only completely new encyclopedia of major proportions in 30 years, Collier's Encyclopedia. Comes to you in these 20 magnificent volumes. That's it, Fred. Okay, a beautiful Collier's Encyclopedia. You've got to find the entry card in a minute. You ready, Honey Bunch? Mm -hmm. A musical clue is yours, Mrs. Wiedemann, and then you're on your own. You're listening carefully. You know your music? Here it is. This is your clue. Listen carefully. <laughs> ready, go! Where should she look? Where? Mary Ellen, where do you want her to look? Hurry up. Where do you want her to look, Mrs. Wiedemann? The time is going. In the kitchen, hurry up, Mary Ellen, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Where in the kitchen? Why don't you look in the washing machine? Hurry up, Mary Ellen. Open the washing machine. All the way in there, honey. Open it. Push it down. Push it down. Push it down. Push it down, honey. Open it. Open it. Push it down. All the way up. The clothes in there. And the clothes. And the clothes. Down in there, Mrs. Wiedemann. Where now? Quickly. Where now, Mrs. Wiedemann? What's the name of the song? You got 30 seconds. What's the name of that song? In the old kit bag. That's right. That means what? Yes, luggage is right, and the luggage is in the living room, and that's where you want to look. Open the luggage, honey, bud. Open it up. Open the luggage. Take all the clothes out of there. And we want to look at the end of it. Open the luggage. Take it all out, Mary Ellen. Take it all out. See, that's the of that one. And the second one. Open the second one, too. Hurry up, Mary Ellen. you got five seconds left. Look in the first one. In the first one again. Maybe it's under the clothes. You missed it, honey. Look in the first one again. Where is it? In the first one again. You see it under the clothes there? There it is on the floor. There it is. You almost got a nervous breakdown, didn't you? Huh? Was that fun? Hey, Mrs. Wiedemann, she did it for you. She did it for you. You've won that Collier's Encyclopedia. And your dealer, your dealer, P. Gross of 1291 Walton Avenue, East 169th Street, gets a beautiful four-piece serving set for Michael C. Fina. And Mary Ellen, you were a wonderful hunting partner. Gee, you hunted avidly. Look what you get. Bring it in here, Peggy. This is a Swiss needle hop hound. A puppy dog from the Wing and Finn Pet Center in New York City, the world's largest pet center. Now, you say hello to everybody. You've been barking all evening. Now, bark for the people. <laughs> oh, thank you for the nice kiss. Now, you kiss Mary Ellen. You like that, doggy? <laughs> Darling, isn't he? Enjoy yourself, honey bunch. And we have a cart and a coat for you, too. Uh, there it is. Number eight. Where's number eight? There's number eight. Okay, Mary Ellen, in the other hand. Thank you for playing Finders Keepers, honey. Goodbye, little hop on. <laughs> We had him barking all evening here on Finders Keepers. Now, Mrs. Wiedemann, we are ready for the jackpot. Are you ready? Well, I hope you can get it. I would love to see you win this trip for two to Paris and Ganabi Piano and the whole Westinghouse kitchen. You have 15 seconds in which to tell me where to find our jackpot picture, what you see on the screen. Only one answer is acceptable now. Look at it carefully and then tell me. Are you ready? Here we go. Where can you find this? I'm sorry, Mrs. Wiedemann, that is not correct, no. But you have won yourself that wonderful Collier's Encyclopedia, and I hope you've had fun playing Finders Keepers, because we have. Thank you very, very much. My best to the whole family. Bye. There you go. Hey, two winners tonight for the jackpot is still there. $3,000 worth of prizes. Are you going to win it? Have you sent in your entry card? It's up for grabs. I hope you get it. Now we come to that special feature on Finders Keepers, the appearance of our celebrity hunter. 
And here to do all the running for our next phone contestant is one of Hollywood's most compelling actors and the star of the new picture, Underwater, with Jane Russell, Mr. Richard Egan. This is a real hunk of man. Underwater with Jane Russell. That sounds pretty good, Dick. Good picture, I understand. A good picture. Very good, friend. Excellent. I understand this was screened and previewed down in Florida, underwater. Is that underwater. Correct? Would you they explain had the how that was? Screened underwater, going? everything underwater. Projected it underwater. They had a glass set up to keep the camera dry, and it was able. They were able to project it through about 50 feet of water on a silver screen. Now the audience went down into benches with the aqualungs on and viewed it. Wow. Of course, the more uh, timid of them got up in about 10 or 15 minutes, but. <laughs> Money stayed down there for about 25, 30. Did you stay for the whole picture? I had seen it before. Oh, I see. Did Jane Russell stay for the whole picture? Uh, no, but she toured. She, she toured the audience and waved to them while they were down there. Well, that's a brilliant uh, publicity. Jane could use that aqualung very well. She She's can. a very good swimmer, good athlete. Yes, she is. She's a wonderful gal, too. That's a brilliant uh, publicity idea to screen underwater, underwater, and got lots of space in all the newspapers. It did, it did, Fred. It's yes. an exciting picture, Dick? It is. Romantic adventure. It's uh, filmed in the Caribbean. They had four or five different locations and have beautiful scenery in it. It's in Superscope, the oh, first yes. time in Superscope, as opposed to Cinemascope or VistaVision. And, of course, with Jane Russell, there's a great attraction to begin with and a beautiful story. And I think it's a very entertaining picture. It's show business. Yeah. It'll be open here on February the 9th, the Mayfair. Dick, I understand that during the war you were a judo instructor. Is that correct? Yes, I was. Yes, you know, I, that's always fascinated me, and I wonder if you could perhaps show us a hold or two while we wait for our next phone call on Finders Keepers, you know? You know. For example, if a, guy, uh, uh, if a guy went to choke you, something like this, how does it do? Now, do this. Uh, this, of course, has to be done fast, I suppose, but do it slowly, and please, we've got 15 minutes to go yet. All if right. a guy goes to choke you, how do you break that? Best way is to break the pressure. Like so, yes. And come down across his neck that way. That's it. I'm finished. Show's over. And there's our next phone if call. If you do it fast, it's effective. Okay. Now, operator, who do we have on our next phone call? Mrs. Wyckoff of Melbourne, New Jersey. Hi, Mrs. Wyckoff. My neck hurts. Did you see what this guy did to me? <laughs> Mrs. Sidney Wyckoff of Melbourne, New Jersey. Here's your entry card. And we're going to hide it in a second. I want to welcome you to Finders Keepers and say hello to Richard Egan. Mrs. Wyckoff. How do you do, Mrs. Wyckoff? Just fine, thank you. I hope you win. I hope I can find this. All okay. right. Here we go. Now, Mrs. Wyckoff, let's pick a prize for you. You know, the prizes are just wonderful. If you find your entry card, which one would you like here? Tell me where to step. This one here by the phone. This is number four, Mrs. Wyckoff, and Bill O'Toole will tell you what is Finders Keepers Prize number four. Number four brings you a sparkling $300 Courtney dial and solitaire, distinguished by its fire and brilliance and set in the mounting of exclusive Courtney design. Sold by better retail jewelers. Okay, Fred. Okay, now, Richard Egan has the blindfold on, and Peggy O'Hara is hiding the entry card. And I'll talk to you, Mrs. Wyckoff, a little bit. You tell me about yourself a little, will you? You have four children. And Mr. Wyckoff, what does he do? A policeman in Milburn. Are you ready, Peg? We're all set. We're all set. You can take it off now, uh -huh. Dick. Okay. Now, Dick Egan is going to hunt like mad for you, Mrs. Wyckoff. We're going to give you a musical clue. You know, this opens the door for you to $3,000 in prizes. Are you ready? Here is your musical clue, and Richard is ready to go, and he can run. Now, listen carefully. Here it is. There's no sun up in the sky, stormy weather. Since my gal and I... Ready, go! Where should he look, Mrs. Wyckoff? Oh, boy, are you smart? Yes, there is. It's in the living room. She wants you to look in the living room, Dick. What's specifically in the living room? The window, barometer on the window. Is there a barometer on the window, Richard? That is, there's a thermometer over there. There's no thermometer there. Where now, Mrs. Wyckoff? No. Huh? On the wall by the bookcase, there is a barometer. Yes, there is. For 30 seconds left to go. Oh. Oh. 35 seconds, Mrs. Wyckoff. Hey, you're a champ. Good boy, Dick. 35 seconds. He didn't have to go underwater for that, did he? Uh, you know you've won that Courtney Diamond ring, don't you? And your dealer, Dave's Market at Essex Street in Milburn, New Jersey, gets the beautiful four-piece serving set from Michael C. Fina. And Richard Egan here, who was such an able hunting partner and who does such great judo, <laughs> he gets an attractive and dependable Whitnauer watch for you, Dick. Well, thanks very Our much, Our appreciation Brad. for you coming over. It's the product of the Longine Whitnauer Watch Company since 1886, makers of watches of the highest character. Thanks. I want to thank you so much, Dick. 
for uh, coming over, and uh, I think we have maybe a, a... Will you wait a second, please, for your jackpot? Because I think we have a second or so for another judo trick from uh, Richard Egan here. Oh, no more? Oh, not another trick? All righty. Now, i tell you what. Uh, we have uh, for you, Dick, a carton of Coca-Cola. There you go. Thanks very much. Nothing judo about that. You can mm -hmm. enjoy that all the time, and it's thanks again. Pleasure. Best of luck to you, Richard. Right. Bye-bye. Richard Egan, everybody. Now, are you ready there, Mrs. Wyckoff? Your jackpot now, 15 seconds and $3,000 in prizes, and that's what you will win. One answer only. You got your, your Courtney diamond ring, right? All right, now tell me in 15 seconds, where can you find this? Look at it carefully now. Trip to Paris, a knobby piano, a Westinghouse kitchen. Where can you find it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not correct. Not correct, but you are the recipient of a Courtney diamond ring, Mrs. Wyckoff, and our appreciation for your participation in Finders Keepers. See, that's what happens when you send in the entry card. Thanks very much, and the best to you. Bye. That's how you do it. Very simple. Knock the cover going, and the neck hurts. It's easy to play Finders Keepers right from your favorite chair at home. And here's how to do it, again, if this is the first time you've seen the show. Now, on every single carton of Coca-Cola, you will find one of these entry cards, or your favorite dealer will supply you with one. All you have to do is fill in the details requested on the card and send it to Finders Keepers, and maybe you'll be called by telephone to compete on our next Finders Keepers program. Remember, just you and your neighbors here in Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey can play Finders Keepers. Every entry blank you return is just good for one show and must be postmarked no later than Monday, midnight, January the 24th. But I'll give you a hint. The more cards you send in, the better chance you have of being called. So... Take a tip. First thing in the morning, make sure you send in your entry card. They're available in every carton of Coke or from your favorite dealer who sells Coca-Cola in cartons. Now, the latest census tells us that there are more people employed as salesmen than any other job category. It seems to be a most popular profession for anyone to be in. And it's interesting to note that you can draw a parallel between bottled Coca-Cola and this great profession. For Coke in the bottle is a salesman, too. And like a salesman, the friends of bottled Coca-Cola increase every day. In fact, Coke in the bottle has grown to be the most popular soft drink in all the world. The most popular soft drink right in your own community. Now, you have to taste its delicious flavor. That's all you have to do. Its precise tang, its, its buoyance, and the lift that it offers thirsty, tired, or relaxing people to realize why bottled Coca-Cola enjoys this popularity. Coke in the bottles is exactly what it's intended to be. Truly delicious, tasty refreshment. Everyone who knows the quality of bottled Coca-Cola realizes exactly what it is, especially mothers. Now, they realize that Coke in the bottle, besides being a tasty refreshment, supplies quick energy whenever it's needed. And that's why they keep lots of delicious bottled Coke right next to the coldest part of their refrigerator so that it can be enjoyed by everyone between meals or any time. So here's a suggestion for tomorrow noon or perhaps tomorrow evening, and certainly for a meal during the weekend. Why not serve a frosty bottle of Coca-Cola? You just watch everyone's eyes light up at the table when you put a delicious bottle of Coke in front of them. It'll make any meal a real meal. Serve Coke at your next supper or luncheon, and keep plenty of Coke in the bottle right next to the coldest part of your refrigerator. For there's nothing like the quality of bottled Coca-Cola. Our next phone call is in on Finders Keepers, and let's see if it's you. Operator, whom do we have here? Mrs. Antonella of Brooklyn, New York. Mrs. Antonella, how are you this evening? Well, welcome to Finders Keepers. Pretty exciting, huh? You gonna win the jackpot? I hope so, too. Now, here's your entry card. I want to thank you for sending it in. And thanks to Thomas's grocery store, your dealer, too. Peggy, you want to hide that? Now, uh, Mrs. Antonella, tell me about yourself a little, would you please? Huh? Oh, I want to know all about you. You're a housewife, right? You have two boys? How old are they? Seventeen and a half and ten and a half. And Mr. Antonello, what does he do? A photo engraver. You know, that's a beautiful name. It flows euphoniously. Marianne Antonella. Beautiful name. Photo engraver, huh? What would you do if you want a trip to Paris for two? Huh? Would you use a Kanabi piano or a whole Westinghouse kitchen? Am I kidding? I'm not kidding. We're going to have you. You have to find that entry card in a minute, and then you're eligible for the jackpot. You saw the set, you saw the living room, you saw the, the kitchen, right? Now you meet your hunting partner who's going to help you look for the entry card. And here he is. It is a he. And here Corporal Newsom. Hi, Corporal. How are you? Well, I'm the finest keeper. I want to say hello to Mrs. Antonella in Brooklyn. Hello, now you. 
Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's wonderful. You from Texas, too? Yes, I'm from Texas, too. Another Texas boy tonight. <laughs> that's well, right. Texas and Brooklyn. Yeah, that's right. Texas and Brooklyn. That's a good pair, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it sure is. What'd you say? It's a good pair. It's a good pair, yes. That's the most two talked about places in America, Texas and Brooklyn. Uh, better believe it. Well, here you go, Texas and Brooklyn. Tell me about yourself, Corporal. Well, I just come back from Germany, and I'll be a civilian this time tomorrow night. Well, I... Advance congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Very, very good. Thank you, Corporal. How long are you over there? Eighteen months. Eighteen months. That's right. Have a good time? Well, yes. Yeah, well, <laughs> as good as could be expected. As good as could be expected. Well, That's we're right. glad to have you back home. Welcome aboard, as they say, Corporal. Uh, thank you very much. And on your first, on your last night as a soldier, we're pleased to have you well, on Finder's Keeper. Well, now, let's see if much. you can help Mrs. Antonella get that $3,000 jacket. Okay, okay, Mrs. Antonella? Here now, here we go. First of all, we pick a prize for you. Every one is worth a fabulous prize. Which one do you want? Fête Fougere. Make your play. Which one? Middle on the top. That's this one here. That's number one. Mrs. Antonella and Bill O'Toole will tell you what is Finders Keepers prize number one. Number one brings you a glorious trip via Colonial Airlines to sunny Bermuda aboard a super cruiser of one of America's most traveled airlines, Colonial, and five wonderful, carefree, expense-free days at the fashionable, luxurious oh, Castle she... Harbor Hotel in Tuckerstown, Bermuda. Okay, Fred. And she's on and on all over the place. Now, here's your mu musical clue, Mrs. Antonella. Listen carefully. Now, where should he look? Where should the corporal look, Mrs. Antonella? In the clock? Which clock? In the kitchen clock. I want you to look in the kitchen clock. Oh, hurry up. In the kitchen clock. On the stove. On the stove. In the stove. Which clock? Not in there. The cuckoo clock. I want you to look in the cuckoo clock. Hurry up. In the cuckoo clock. In the cuckoo clock. In the box, all right? In the cuckoo clock. In the air. trip to Bermuda and your dealer Thomas's grocery store on Washington Avenue in Brooklyn gets the beautiful four-piece serving set from Michael C. Fina. And the corporal here gets a night on the town, a night on the town as they used to do it in the old days. We're going to really create an exciting evening for you. We're going to the era of Diamond Jim Brady and Lillian Russell, corporal. You're going to be picked up by one of the turn-of-the-century automobiles from the centennial of cars with eyeglasses and dusters, and we're going to take you to dinner at Lou Chow's, one of New York's oldest restaurants. Then your antique car is going to take you to a Broadway theater that was built just around the turn of the century, the Lyceum Theater. You're going to see Anastasia, which was just a great, great play. And then you'll be our guest at one of New York's most famous old-time restaurants, Bill's Gay 90s. How's that? Oh, thank, thank you. you. That's fine. Fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Antonella, quickly tell me in 15 seconds, where can you find this? Look. No, I'm sorry, Mrs. Antonella, that is not correct. That is not correct, and I'll tell you what the jackpot picture is. It is the Museum of the City of New York on Fifth Avenue between 103rd and 104th Street. The Museum of the City of New York, but you've won yourself that trip to Bermuda, and thanks very much for playing Finders Keepers. Good night. There you go, and that's Finders Keepers for this. Thursday night. Now, next week, we will have a new jackpot picture and this fabulous jackpot. First, to make life at home a bit more musical, the Kanabi Piano, the official piano of the Metropolitan Opera, which can be seen at the Kanabi Piano Company at 536 Fifth Avenue. Second, to make life easier, every woman's dream, a Westinghouse kitchen with the wonderful Westinghouse twins, the washer and the dryer, and including a dishwasher and a Westinghouse refrigerator. And remember, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. Third, to make life more romantic, we will fly you to the city of romance, Paris, via KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, aboard their luxurious Royal Super Constellation, where every wish is a command and no king could ask for more. And topping it all off, you'll be our guests for a week at the world-famous George Saint Hotel in the heart of Gay Paris, the most fabulous jackpot in television today. Yes, indeed it is. Now send in those entry cards and win that $3,000 jackpot next week. And until then... Thank you, Harry. And Fred Roberts wishing you blue skies and green lights, and we'll see you next Thursday when we'll all play Finders Keepers. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Remember, there is nothing like the quality of bottled Coca-Cola. This is the Dumont Television Network.